Hey everyone, I'm Michael Majors. And I'm Ross Miriam. And you're watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. So I took down our first video last week. I think I'm going to do it again. Nah, I, I don't think so. I think I'm going to crush you with some tentacles. <laughs> eh, I don't know. I think my deck can rebuild pretty quickly after a crush. And I think it might be difficult for you to assemble the pieces to crush me with Surge. Yeah, uh, I, I'm definitely scared of, of Nissa Voices in the car. I think it's going to do a pretty good job of holding the ground and making sure like my Soulfire Grandmasters are kind of ineffective at getting through and killing your Planeswalkers and stuff. So we'll see. But uh, you're kind of just this mopey green-white creature deck, and Just Guy Black is great. Well, I was a mopey green white creature deck last week too, so <laughs> Okay, you're not wrong. Yeah. This time I have some counter spells on the sideboard. I think those are gonna be important. So I think it'll be important for you to get at least one of the first two games, if not both of them. Yeah. Alright, I can't disagree. <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens. Okay. Great high roll. Yeah. Pogrand. Pogrand. I have yeah. I two a pair. I have a pair of threes. Ugh. I will play first. Here with my opening seven, I have all my colors and a painful truce, so I'm never going to mulligan. I'm here with my opening six, because I'm very unlucky. My seven was not very good. Uh, the six is pretty good. We got a great first couple turns. Just need to draw a little more action. Scry. So I, do get to, I always forget to scry. <laughs> I'm really bad at it. Well, that is not action, so send that to the bottom. All right. Mystic Monastery, go. That was action, so that's good. Uh, crack of Widowed Foothills for 19. Good forest. Play hard and skills. Ooh, that's kind of scary. Let's see how many games out of five I can start with skills. It's four or more. I'll feel really good. So this is kind of uh, the, the tension of Magmatic Insight in a nutshell right here. So I, I don't think I want to go ahead and fire it off, even though I'm, I'm tempted to use my mana this turn. And since I just drew this, I, I don't think there's any real argument for doing it. So we're just going to sit tight. Go ahead. Okay, I will crack Flooded Strand for a Plains. 18. Go to 18, play a Hangerback Walker, which gets two additional counters. Counter. Now I've got a Grizzly Bear. Perfect. I just have no idea whether I actually want to use this right now or not. Um, so next turn, I'm going to be casting this no matter what. And Hangerback Walker could quickly get out of hand. And killing it now means that his Avatar the Resolute won't trigger, so I think we should just go ahead and impulse it. Okay, two Thopter tokens. I'm going to fetch for a island so that we can use our crush up tentacles and we can still cast crackling doom right now so that's okay with the land we just drew so i'm gonna go to 19 then 16 and play a painful truce for three it's pretty good if you're into that sort of thing pretty much all about it and go ahead and cast these two next turn which is pretty sweet that was not a great draw, but we will fight on. Okay, for two. 14. Play a Flooded Strand and another Hangerback Walker. Okay. You can go. We're going to go ahead and lead out on a Magmatic Insight. We're not interested in casting this card right now. So I'm going to discard this Bloodstained Mire, draw two cards. Oh goodness. This, five cards in your deck now? This game might get kind of five painful. Five in your graveyard? Yep, five cards in my graveyard right now. Well, let's see here. I could play a Jace, or I could play a Painful Truce. And seeing how we have two of these in our hand, I think I just want to go ahead and... Oh man, we're going to take so much damage if I play Painful Truce this turn. Yeah, whatever. That's what I signed up for. <laughs> Going to 13 for the fetch, 10 from Truce. Yep. 
good basic swamp. Hopefully we can find a crush and set that up on turn six. That would be ideal. Two, three. Ooh, this is not going well. Ten cards on the other side? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe I uh, should have just played it for two. Who knows? Not the best painful twist yeah. I've seen. I'll just discard two Jaces. It'll be your turn. Crack up that turn on step. I'm at 17. Now you have a million cards in your graveyard. Yeah, just, you can treasure just, cruise. Just filling up the graveyard yeah. <laughs> according to plan. We have nine cards in our graveyard. Yeah. Ready to cruise and discard more cards to hand size. Pretty excited about it. I love drawing cards. Just wish I had a third crush. <laughs> Not until game three. Draw. You only have four cards in your hand? Yeah. What's that like? Eh, it's fine. I have less to think about. I'm not very smart, so. <laughs> eh, you sell yourself short. <laughs> uh, so, if you can't get crushed next turn, I can get crushed in two turns. There is some tension with Hangerback Walker against Crush in that uh, I want to level it at least once to get some value and get it out of Fiery Impulse range, but I also want to get in maximum damage if it's going to just get sent back to my hand. But I think it's best to level it once before start we start attacking, especially because I drew another Hardened Skills. <laughs> so I can add three counters to it, and I'll do that immediately to play around a removal silly. spell and attack for two more points of damage. Okay, I'm going to I'll play another land, and you can go. And if you just had Nissa that turn, I'd just be so dead. I know. Man, that would have been absurd. Oh, goodness gracious. You would have literally been dead. Would I have actually been dead? Yes. Two, four... These would have been threes. Because if one hardened scales, this would have been a four. Ooh. <laughs> That's no joke. All right. So I think I really need to find that uh, that octopus over there. And I cannot play this card anymore. Now the question is whether I need to be able to set up delving this all the way so that I can play uh, two spells with the surge cost. And since we currently have nine cards in our graveyard, that would put us down to three cards in our graveyard. So I think we probably want to play this... Uh, but on the other hand, if we hit like a Soulfire Grandmaster, we can gain some life. So that's actually worth thinking about as well. But I guess worst case scenario, we can just cast the Crush for six, and that's not really that big of a deal. It'll stabilize the board. So I think we just want to go ahead and play Treasure Cruise for as little mana as possible. Do you want to discard to hand size more? I don't think I'm going to discard to hand size this time. This is getting a little out of control, Majors. Yeah. I'm, I'm just, drawing too many cards. I'm just kind of sitting here and dying, so <laughs> yeah. it's not, not too bad for you. All right. I'm going to keep these two. Eventually, you have to do something. That, that is true. You don't have a tutelage in play. <laughs> I don't have a Sphinx's tutelage. You'd probably be very dead if I did. I think the game would have ended on that treasure cruise. You triggered it 11 times. Oh, man. An eight life, you have two cards in your hand. Alright. I'm just I just need to give myself as many looks as possible, I think. So we're gonna play this Jace. And discard a card in hand size. <laughs> Which in this case I think will be a basic planes. No, basic mountain. No, the planes. I changed my mind. I just don't know what I'm doing over here. I'm just overwhelmed. Uh -oh. On my upkeep, I'll correct this fetch. Okay. 16. 16. Now, I have to think about what possible removal spell he has in his hand. It could be Murderous Cut, Canty Crackling Doom. 
Fire Impulse doesn't really do much. Roast is a sorcery. Can't be Utter End. It's likely he has a murderous cut here. Question is whether I want to play into the singleton. See what I draw? Perfect? No. <laughs> hmm. Is it actually perfect? Oh no. It's the source possible. <laughs> okay. If I go for the kill and he has the murderous cut, I will still be threatening lethal, but I will be basically dead to a crush. If I don't go for it, he can either go to one or chump. He'd probably end up chumping because he's playing to crush anyway, so his jace would just get bounced to his hand, and he has plenty of gas to win the game with after a crush. That is arguable. I th think I want to go for it. Uh, counter here and fight. I want to. I want to fight with the hanger back just to stop him from breaking up the command with a fiery impulse. Yeah, I I'm definitely forced to just cut here. Jace gives us an extra look, and this uh, prevents a lot of damage this turn. Yeah, he had to cut. I will activate actually. I'm, I'm sorry. Hold on. I might actually uh, fire impulse one of your tokens and then cut. That would put me to seven, and you would get five tokens. So be... I'm going to activate response, so I'll end up getting eight. Oh, good point. Okay. Yeah, I guess I have no reason to, then. All right, we'll cut. Activate response. Okay. Million Thopters. Yep. Wish I had a Nissa. Attack for two. Six. Six. No crush one time, please. On deck, please. Um, hmm. So. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and crack a blue delta. Go five. Can hit like magmatic insight or the crush. I think that's about it, though. How could you draw painful truths? I have a painful truth in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just done nothing but kill myself this entire game. That's not true. You've drawn a lot of cards. I, I have drawn a lot of cards. They haven't gotten me very far, though. Gonna draw one more. Okay. Activate Jace. Oh, no. All right. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> not not a great showing first game, but that's okay. Hanger back walker is tough for your deck to deal with without crush. It's true. Just why you put the card in your deck. Now you have to draw it. <laughs> Forgot that step in the plan.